Mike Fisher reporting from the Star in Frisco, uh, Cowboys headquarters, where we uh, just completed access to a Thursday practice that starts out with Coach Mike McCarthy saying, I'm not a gambler. And uh, I'll have a video on that uh, featuring Mike McCarthy here in a little bit. Uh, for now, let's go to the three issues of the practice day for the Cowboys, three concerns injury-wise uh, as they get ready for the trip to Seattle. Guy number one, and I put him at number one because, first of all, I, I think he's the Cowboys' best cornerback. He's certainly the best available cornerback now. He might even be the Cowboys' best defensive back. And this might uh, this might last a while. This might, this might be a long-term thing for Trayvon Diggs, who... In Wednesday's practice, I swear he was out there running around at the beginning of it with number 27 and then was later listed as a did not participate due to a shoulder. So Thursday, uh, here is Trayvon Diggs, the second round rookie out of Alabama. And he did open up practice uh, in uniform and on the field. It also appeared as though he may have been wearing some sort of a shoulder harness. Um, that does not seem, I don't think, like it's a... Uh, a terrible situation. Like, I don't think he's got a broken wing. I think it's dinged up. And so uh, maybe the, the harness will, uh, the brace harness will be protective and uh, maybe he'll use it on Sunday. Maybe he won't, but it does appear that he was using some device like that here on Thursday. Uh, next guy up is Tyron Smith. Now, in fairness to the kids, Knight and Steele, they did hold up fine. You scored 40 points. They must've done something right at tackle, but there's nothing quite like having uh, the all pro and future Hall of Famer Tyron Smith back. So Tyron Smith was in uniform and in pads uh, at the start of the Thursday workout and was was going to probably ramp up. And so the neck does not appear in the way he moves to be troubling him right now, but this will be a slow ramp up and they'll be very careful with what Dr. Jerry Jones says is stingers. Uh, that's troublesome and painful, but obviously it could be far worse. So things are looking up at this moment for Tyron Smith. And then Tank Lawrence, who missed the Wednesday workout because the Lawrences had another baby, baby daughter. Uh, and and that's, that's a good reason to miss, as McCarthy said on Wednesday. Tank Lawrence uh, was not present during the media portion of practice, the first 20 minutes, but was expected to do some individual stuff and be in the rehab group. And the reason that McCarthy put him in that group is he is coming off a dinged up knee uh, that uh, occurred in that win over Atlanta last week. So they wanted to monitor his ramp up here, but there is a feeling that Tank Lawrence will play on Sunday. So wouldn't that be something? Uh, you're gonna need all hands on deck as possible against the Seattle team uh, that that throws points up against the board, throws that are up on the yard, uh, does have some problems stopping your big plays, but in the end goes out and scores 35 points a game, and you might need to be prepared to do the same. Uh, having Diggs, having Tyron, and having Tank all available certainly would help those causes. Uh, stay tuned here for more on the watermelon kick and for more on what's going on with injuries and whatnot. By the way, I know there's been some questions about Lyle Collins. He's got the conditioning slash hip issue. He is not eligible this week. He's eligible after week three, and uh, they will monitor that. A lot of questions about Earl Thomas. I'm told, again, put, put a fork in it, Fish. We're just not going there, uh, even though they certainly have some struggles injury-wise and maybe even performance-wise to some level in the defensive backfield. The, the big three names are Trayvon, and Tyron and Tank. And those are the guys that we monitor today. And again, uh, spread the word, uh, sign up here and, uh, and get alerts and tell your Cowboys Nation friends. If you want it straight from the star, not interpreted, not my reports interpreted by somebody else who then gives their reports, just get it straight from the source. Uh, you get it here uh, on the Fish Report uh, and at CowboysSI.com and on my social media at Fish Sports as well. Thanks for tuning in here. Spread the word and uh, fish out.